Hey everyone, so tonight we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends Marvel Studios' first 10 years. It's been out for a while. Um, Hulk and Hulkbuster from the Age of Ultron movie. Uh, so first we're going to do these in two separate videos. I'll be doing the Hulk first, so two days of Hulk, and then Hulkbuster. So go and check out the sides here. Alright, so each side of these boxes, as you know, as you line them up, they show the whole Marvel Studios movies, making a little mural on the side, which I will show at once I finish the whole series. And on the other side, it just shows Marvel 10 years, Age of Ultron, goes a little thing over the movie about the scene, and shows the number of which order it goes in. And here's the back of the box, a little bio of Hulkbuster and Hulk, shows a nice little movie poster there, which is one of my favorites. It seems to be Age of Ultron and Winter Soldier are probably my two up there as my two favorites. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get these guys opened up and check out Hulk. All right, so here's Hulk out of the package. We'll get him up close and check out the details. All right, so first up, checking out the head sculpt, which I think looks awesome. It's just like right in the movie when that great scene with Hulk versus the Hulk Buster in Age of Ultron, when Scarlet Witch has hit him with one of her spells. He's got the red around the eyes, and you can see all the veins, just looks more possessed. Very cool looking head sculpt. I love the yelling, you know, wide open mouth. You can see nice, good paint applications on the teeth and tongue. But I just like how it's just a little bit of red around the eyes, so it's not too bright or anything. It blends in well. I think the veins look very cool. You can see them along the neck, on the side of the face. It just looks really good. Really liking how that looks. And then you see it's got more of a scruffier hair, but it's got some chest hair there. And then coming down the side of the arms here, he's got all these veins that are also just nicely painted on there, which aren't they aren't like you know washing out over the sides, at least not on mine. Looks very cool on the back. It's just more of a paler green. Definitely a lot paler compared to the Hulk from the Ultron Ultron wave. A little chunky plastic. You can kind of see there's a little bit of blemishes in the mold there. Then he's got his pants, stretchy pants. Just more of a dark, you know, light, I guess like a flat, dark blue. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain. And it's got the nice texture. It's the same pants, same sculpt as the Age of Ultron one, just repainted. But you can see it's got the nice dark blue right there. And then coming down to the feet, look good. Just that same pale green. But I'm glad that they kept with the two fists, which is good for that scene. But I just, I really like that head sculpt. I think that looks really cool. All right, so I'm going with the articulation. Head looks side to side, left and right. Up and down, not up so much. It's like a little hindered there by the neck. It's just more of that ball peg. There's actually not a hinge underneath the neck. So it's downward motion. It's kind of about that way. Move up and down, forward and back. A nice ball joint. Upper bicep swivels, double jointed elbows, which is cool in these big figures. Hinge on the wrist with the rotation. No ab crunch, but he slides down pretty far. Slides back, we do get that weird gap in the front and rotates no waist swivel you have these older y joints so you have to rotate that and then pull it up to get him to kick out and then he can spread pretty far though with these let's see he does have the upper thigh swivel right there double jointed knees no boot rotation Ankles move down, they move up, he has nice ankle rockers, and Piggles bomb his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Hulk is, and we'll get into some comparison over the uh, other Ultron Hulk. All right, so standing up, angry Hulk, he is a little over about six inch, eight inches, I don't know what I'm saying, six inches, eight inches tall, and here he is next to the other version from the Ultron wave. You can see it's a much better version, um, even though he's, just for that made for that one scene. I just overall like the more detailing on the Age of Ultron one compared to just the irregular uh, Avengers movie Hulk we have here. But uh, definitely see. Oh geez. Sorry about that. Just didn't have the camera raised up at the right motion. So I had to readjust. But you can definitely see the difference in the whole head sculpt's brand new, which is nice. But you can see it's the same body. Same body, same shorts. Everything else the same, just different colored green. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That's my review 
of the Age of Ultron movie, movie studios, 10 year anniversary, um, Hulk. I think it's a cool Hulk figure. Definitely. He's actually reasonably priced just for add this two pack. But yeah, up next will be Hulk Buster. Let me know in the comments. Give me a follow on Instagram at David V's Action Figure Reviews. And I'll talk to you guys later. Arr.